Hey, my name's Jonathan Clark. Thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to review a keyboard. It's called the, well, the company is Logic Keyboard. And what I have here is the version for Adobe's Premiere Pro video, video editing suite. And the point of having one of these fancy keyboards is when you've got a video editor, audio editor, photo editor, something like that with a lot of really complicated keyboard shortcuts, you can work a lot faster if you know your shortcuts, but it's pretty hard to remember them, especially if you typically work with 12 or 14 different DAWs and video editors and stuff like that. Easy to forget what's going on. So for your key applications, you may decide you want a uh, want some hints. So I got a special keyboard. Now this thing is not cheap. Um, this thing was $160, I think, by the time it was delivered, maybe even a little more. Plus, I had to pay customs on it because it came from Britain. So actually, it was probably $200. So very expensive keyboard, but um, I think it may be worth it. And I also got this separate Logic lamp, which kind of concerns me because I just noticed on the package it says keyboard lamp included. Now, this, obviously I haven't had this open yet, um, this keyboard, I believe this one I had a choice of black or white, that's not the case for all software that they produce these keyboards for, sometimes you only get one color, and uh, I'm opening it from the wrong end, and I also had a choice of a couple different styles of keyboards. I took the US um, just because that seems to work best for us in Canada most of the time, unless you're French. And look at this, an extra light. I'm going to be well lit up. So packaging includes a very, very simple instruction manual. And basically what happens it's USB, so I can plug it in. Now, I, I do my editing on a laptop. I don't even have a proper desktop station, but, uh, but I can plug this into the side of my laptop and use this instead of my laptop's normal keyboard. And do a better job of opening this up. And I'll get the plastic off later in better condition. I'll do a zoom in of this later, but this is, uh, okay, it feels like a nice keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard, which I like because I learn to type on full-size keyboards, and laptops sometimes are annoying. Um, yeah, it looks good so far. Now, obviously, I haven't played with this yet, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to play, play with this for three or four days till I get really comfortable with it, and then I can give you a proper re review and tell you what I think. Okay, thanks. Okay, I have been using this Logic Keyboard for a couple weeks now, and basically the summary is, um, essentially, I love it. Um, a couple caveats, um, a couple things that uh, maybe not perfect, but for the most part, very pleased with this, and I would recommend it. Now, the keys, if you're used to a normal computer keyboard, not a laptop, but a desktop station, with the full-size keys, the real clicky keys, whatever, um, you'll find this slim profile is a little odd, takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, that's a minor thing. The, uh, the build of it seems pretty good. Um, I mean, I've only used it for a few weeks, so I'm not sure how long it'll take for these to start wearing off, but it seems to be pretty durable, and I believe they've taken this into account, because unlike a normal computer keyboard where the keys can wear off after a year or two, and that's not a big deal, you don't want this stuff wearing off, and I assume that they have taken this into account. It looks like there's kind of... Um, it's hard to tell, but it looks like there's a layer of protection over the, uh, the markings on the keys, so I'm optimistic about that. Um, it's worked perfectly, just plugs in, plays, works like a normal keyboard. This light is kind of handy when I'm working in low light situations. I like to work by uh, almost candlelight sometimes, and this is a big plus being able to see the keyboard. I know that uh, nowadays when I buy a laptop, I always make sure I get a backlit keyboard for the same reason, but this is a, this is a great solution. Now, um, will it be useful to everyone? Well, if you've got a laptop, then you've got a keyboard there already. And so 
I'll show you I'll show you what my workflow looks like when I'm using this with my laptop. It's a little odd, keyboard in front of keyboard. So maybe it's not as important for a laptop user as it would be for a desktop station user. Um, the other thing is too, if you're using a single program all the time, these things may not be the best reference supply because you're going to memorize these eventually. Um, even a complicated program like Pro Tools, you're definitely going to memorize a ton of keyboard shortcuts. And so if you're trying to save money and do this, especially if you've got a laptop, the smart thing might be to just print out a list of the keyboard shortcuts and try and memorize them. You know, spend three minutes a day looking at them, memorizing them, have that sheet beside you at the computer while you're doing work, tape it up in your bathroom wall beside the, uh, beside the toilet, whatever, so you can sit and study it for a couple minutes every day. Okay, but if you're in an environment where you're using a desktop station where you need a keyboard anyway, 100% endorse this. Great idea. If you're in a professional editing environment at a uh, studio business and they've got a bunch of things set up, absolutely, they should have these. If you're in a setup where you're jumping back and forth between a couple different software programs, these shortcuts are these these reminders about the shortcuts, they're going to be fantastic. Anyway, it's certainly not cheap, um, but as a replacement for a desktop station keyboard, I highly endorse this, love it. And, uh, and I even, I don't need to use it with my laptop, but I usually, uh, like 90% of the time now, when I'm doing editing with, uh, with Adobe Premiere, I pull this keyboard out and use this along with my mouse, and then occasionally using a Shuttle Pro over my left hand, but mostly using the keyboard shortcuts on this and the mouse to do all my work. So I would say it's helped my workflow a little bit, and, uh, and I'm pleased with it. Okay, uh, that's all I need to say about it. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot you can say about a keyboard. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I've got a bunch of videos online, stuff like DJ tutorials, music production tutorials, gear reviews, music stuff, audio recording tutorials, fun stuff, whatever. Um, check them out, djbolivia.ca slash videos. And thanks for watching.